Since 2015 to date, President Muhammad Buhari has invested so much on infrastructures in a bid to drive economic growth, provide jobs, deliver vital services to the country, and most especially lift 100 million Nigerians out of poverty within the current decade. And CCECC Nigerian Limited is part of the companies Mr. President is using in the realization of his promise to Nigerians. The China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation CCECC, was incorporated in the People's Republic of China as a state-owned enterprise with major construction activities throughout Asia, Middle East and Africa. In 1996, CCECC Nigerian Limited was incorporated as a wholly owned subsidiary of CCECC with headquarters in Abuja. CCECC is the largest construction contractor in Nigeria and even in West Africa. CCECC Nigeria has obtained grade A qualifications for constructing major projects for the Nigerian government. The company has launched businesses in 29 out of 36 states across Nigeria covering general contracting, project contracting, project management, and consulting services for railways, municipal projects, housing projects, water, highways, and bridge projects. Uh, no nation can grow bigger than the infrastructure it has. And, and I, 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 I reiterate that position, of course. And the commitment to infrastructure is a well-tested, uh, time-tested and enduring way of distributing resources in any society. So any government like the Buhari government that commits to build infrastructure, whether it is roads, rail, bridges, airports, power plants, and so on, uh, by the very statement of it, and from the day when the budgets and all of the policies and the plans are made, all the people in the built industry begin to take positions and they will be unwise not to do so. The ministry is in charge of over 34,000 kilometers of the federal road network. And uh, currently we have projects in about 13,000 kilometers of this road network. And because of the funding uh, opportunities that we had, we have been able to complete quite a number of uh, the projects. And uh, the others are at various uh, levels of completion, which is very, very encouraging. And uh, we intend to deliver on some of these projects before the end of 2023. Let me start by saying that I am confident that these projects will be completed, especially Lagos Ibado and Second Anja Bridge with the kind of uh, uh, completion level we are in. As a matter of fact, on Lagos Ibado Section 1, We've already, out of about 43 kilometers of the road, we've already completed about 33, 35 kilometers on both sides. So for us, we are on course. The only issue, what could be an obstacle is funding. 
and funding is not an obstacle you know it's not a problem for us now NSI is funding and then work appreciable progress is ongoing there so for us barring any unforeseen circumstances that project those projects those section one section two and uh, all these other legacy projects will be delivered we're making things better than we met them uh, we are also including every part of the country so the conversation you probably used to hear before <clears throat> was that people felt marginalized and it was expressed by the lack of what they called federal government presence in their states. Those conversations have changed now. Uh, no state can say that there is no presence, at least in the Ministry of Works in their states, if it's not a housing project, it's a road project or a bridge project or all of them combined. Um, so the conversation has changed from Nothing is going on to our state, so when are you going to finish it? And that's progress. CCECC, Nigerian Limited, has undertaken several completed and ongoing road projects under construction nationwide for the Federal Ministry of Works and Housing, which includes the rehabilitation and completion of the 12.5 kilometer Bandekia Obudu Kato Ranch Road in Benue and Cross River States the rehabilitation and completion of the 23-kilometer road from Alessi to Iyamoyom in Obubra local government as an addendum to the rehabilitation of the Kalaba Uge Ogoja Castina Ala Road connecting Cross River and Benue states. CCECC has completed the rehabilitation of Section 4 Enugu to Port Harcourt Express Road. This is a major road project connecting five states in the southeast geopolitical zones of Nigeria. And the CCECC rehabilitation and dualization of the Kanu Castina Road Phase 2, covering 74.1 km to 152 plus 655 km road construction from Castina Rolling Mill Randabad in Castina and Kanu State border. The, this project uh, includes uh, 36 uh, kilometers, yeah. uh, includes uh, many, many uh, drainage covered and uh, curb. Uh, I have been working CDCC for 10 years, uh, work this road two years. Uh, I'm responsible for uh, this road construction. Yeah, this road uh, comes from Yakasai to Valley Road. Uh, the total length is the total length is 36 kilometers. Include uh, uh, some drainage, uh, some cover, and some curves. Yeah. Um, the 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 economic impact of this road is immense, as you can see. Yakase, Badume, Maikenzali is an agrarian community. And also, you also know about the um, Badumi market. So you see, it's linking various communities to the market. It's also linking various communities for them to assess their farm produce and take it out to the market and also to Kanu State, the main Kanu city. So you see, the, 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 the project has a direct impact on all the whole community concerned in this project yeah uh, as uh, not even this one as uh, as whole in the nigeria you know the road works awarded by the federal government uh, is as an intervention to the community and uh, also that one to bring out the economic benefits you know most of the places you will see that there are markets there are farms where people transport their farm products to the market but without the roads it is getting them difficult thank you the minister of Fajola, the president uh, Buhari, for giving the contract to CC, to CCECC yeah to con construct uh, the new road yeah this road uh, can enhance the movement of goods and service for nigeria yeah CCECC will go forward and provide excellent quality of 
road construction uh, in Nigeria. Uh, of course, the project will impact uh, a lot on the community in terms of ease of accessibility, ease of moving uh, people from one location to another, goods and services, and so on. It will surely impact on their economic uh, status. One aiki da ake yi aiki ya kyau a bisa ga lokacin da muna bin hanyar a muna iya dokar dogon lokaci saboda hanya ba kyau amma yanzu zuwan company CCECC da abba Allah ya taimaka muna yanzu hanya lafiya lo muna yin 30 minutes yanzu 10 minutes ya kai wasai alhamdulillah alhamdulillah mun gode mun gode ma gwamnatin tarayya da abba Allah ya saka da alheri mun gode sosai mun gode kwarai da gaskiya da wannan hanya gaskiya ba ta da kyau ko alama hanya an kato sai kana ta kwace kwace da ramuka da menene duk gashi nan dai duwatsu da menene sai yanzu fa amma yanzu alhamdulillah hanya da kato tafiya ce normal an kato daga daga inda kato zaka je dandanan shaf shaf da mai wakon zaka dauki awa uku ko awa bi haka yanzu ba zai fice awa daya a zo awa daya da rabi ba ka je inda zaka yin Allah da aikin hanyar da ake a karamar hukuma bici ba alfahari ba aikin da ya kai wannan aiki kyau don wannan kamfani sun tsaya sun yi aiki mai inganci sun tsaya sun yi aiki mai kyau ba abinda za mu ce mu sai dai godiya la saka da alkhairi eh muhammad bari yanzu abinda za mu ce mas tunda dai dole sai ya sa hannu da abubuwa aiki zai yi ko to yanzu sai dai addu'a da san barka kawai Allah ya sa dubunta yan ayyukan ma ya kudiri ne ya yauwa da ya kudiri ne Allah ya sa ya cika mana su da kaya ne ya riga da ko na alƙawari Allah sa ya sauke su lafiya yes the the rate is surely 100% because even the community themselves have have said it for themselves that this work is 100% and kudos goes to the minister they really appreciate and we ourselves as a company we really appreciate the work of the minister and the president i wanted to thank for the ccecc now then they help me buying some food from me for 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 the rockers all now then then they use buy food from me and they take food down food bring it then sell it for those that people to get 15 naira 20 naira to help my people um, that business why are they do now that business they help me with my people and my children with my people all of them now that business they help us the minister thank you very much for the work that you have given to us we need more effort we need more projects because the work assists us very well they help me I take care of my family and my life. I thank you and I still thank you, CCCC. Let the work continue moving. Uh, having learned that the project will impact positively on the community in terms of uh, their economic status, uh, we wish to express our gratitude to uh, His Excellency, Mr. President, General Muhammad Buhari, uh, and the Honorable Minister of Works and Housing, uh, as well as the Honorable Member representing which constituency for bringing this project to the community, because we hope it will impact on the community positively. Or the road project executed by CCECC Nigerian Limited includes the rehabilitation of the Abakeleke to Afiko Road Section 2 and Abomega to Afiko Road in Enugu State, and the dualization of the 20 kilometer Genegua Road Junction, Kolo Otweke, Bayesa Palm Road in Bayesa State, the reconstruction of the Phase 1, Section 1 of the 85 km Sokoto Tambora. Jega Kantagura Makeri Road. Also, the ongoing dualization of a standing portion of the Odukbani Itu Ikotekbane Road in Cross River and Akwa Ibon States 
CCECC Nigerian Limited has carried out multiple emergency maintenance and repairs of roads in Lagos Metropolis, including the ongoing rehabilitation of the Outer Marina to Bonny Camp Road and Echo Bridge through Akwongwong Bridge with access ramps. It, it has been a great one so far. I started with CCC in 2014, late 2014, uh, as a project, a project uh, engineer. And uh, I've worked on several projects since then. Uh, one of uh, those projects is working with the uh, um, Federal Ministry of Works, because we have done a lot of rehabilitation work in Lagos. We have the road that spans from Ebute Road to Eco Atlantic, and it's an 8.049 kilometer road. From zero, Chene zero to Chene is three plus 500. We have just one single bound on which we are now. It spans from Bibute Road down to Officer Smith. Then beyond Officer Smith, we have uh, from three plus 500 to eight plus 049. That's where we have Eco Atlantic. And we have it on both bounds. So we have the two bounds. From three plus 500 to eight plus 049 has been completed. The pavement work has been completed to wearing costs. Where we are standing now, uh, the other marina project which we are talking about, and another one on the side, which is the real project being done by Lagos State. These projects, uh, they complement themselves. We have done a lot of projects in Lagos which have helped uh, to ease traffic, to, uh, to ease traffic and improve the uh, economic uh, situation in uh, Lagos. You know Lagos generally is the major business hub of Nigeria, the economic uh, capital of Nigeria. And when you talk of a Lagos Island, any part of Lagos, uh, you, that's why you have a major business. So this road is very important because is a because of the commercial activities in, in this environment. Where we are presently, we are on the stage of Makadam. You can see it. This is Makadam first layer of Makadam. We are expecting the second layer this morning. So so far from officers, about 4.5 kilometers of the pavement work has been completed. That's from officers made to Eco Atlantic. Uh, for, for a long time, uh, Alta Marina Roads has not uh, seen any form of uh, rehabilitation or maintenance, maybe just mere maintenance. And the Blue Line project really impacted uh, the work. So I believe that if this road has not been awarded for rehabilitation, uh, the Blue Line coming up, we have a, it will be a major setback for the Blue Line. And I mean, Legosians. Lego uh, uh, enjoying the road because a lot of uh, economic business activity will come this way. Uh, a lot of Lagosian on the island can connect to Ikoyi, VI, Leki uh, through this road easily. Uh, you can save a lot of uh, man hours while walking. You can achieve more right now based on this uh, the, the rehabilitation that is going on now. And I believe that this road will be even completed as soon as possible before the uh, rail brings a lot of people to this direction. This road. As we complete it, as soon as we complete this route, the benefits is for everybody. That is to say that after completing this route, the vehicle will start moving on this route. Even, even myself and you will also move on this route. Road construction employs a large number of the urban poor, skilled and unskilled labor and vendors who depend on daily or weekly wages and the road project undertaken by CCECC Nigeria Limited has opened up more areas, stimulate economic and social development, and also provide access to employment. I think a lot of people have got a lot of benefit working on this project because you see uh, people who are unskilled coming to work for CCCC on road projects, and you see them learning skills within the working process. You see some of them that are not good in carpentry work, mercy work, developing themselves in that aspect even well then so it's a learning skill for some of them learning process for some of them and also it's some of them they're able to earn for their living because some you know the situation of job in the issue but it's a, it's a project or road construction as a bit of bringing in more people employing more people training them paying them to take care of their family responsibilities i like the company cc because they employ all those boys they no get work then they give them some a little money to take their and fear their self and their the family. They not go stray for the design and the company because because they shop, no go thief. Well, uh, I want to thank the company because yeah, it's not easy to employ to employ people because 
many many people and many characters. So I'm very I'm very happy to to thank the the companies, yeah, to employ some people. I really have to say, the money that they pay me right from time, I used to feed my wife. I pay my daughter and my son's school fees. And I do other things in it. I take care of myself and, and my siblings and my parents. I think my experience with CCC has been great so far. I've been with CCC for about eight years now. It has been a wonderful experience. I've been in different departments. I've been in the engineering department. I also stay in the admin and also in the city department. So I mean, I experience in learning. Uh, it's a company that exposes you to a lot of learning. You are open to a lot of experiences from different departments. Oh, it's been a very, very, very nice experience. Actually, this is my first uh, project with CCCC. But uh, we can see the eagerness in them to give a quality work and to finish on time. If not for this place, the delay came from, you can see the Blue Line project. And that is what actually caused the delay around there. If not, they would have completed. So, number one, when it comes to timing, yes, they are very good. Quality-wise, they are very, very good. It's nice working with them because they, they are supportive. They have listening here. So, uh, and talking about impact, uh, we, we have created a lot of opportunity for our own staff working with us in CCC because both direct and indirect job about, uh, about close to 600 uh, job opportunities have been created. Uh, we have uh, created job for uh, local people, uh, food vendors, uh, uh, retailers, cart sellers and a lot of people around here, even for our local suppliers and contractors. Uh, some of them are on site today that are going to be working with us too. Uh, steel suppliers, cement suppliers, sand and so on. A lot of opportunities have been created through this job. I think it has been a great uh, effort from the, both the government, both from the minister and the presidency because you can see that a lot of people in Nigerians from different parts of the state come in, work learn skills and uh, develop themselves and even use it for further uh, 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 experiences in life. So it's a good avenue for them to train and learn and take care of that basic thing because they have been paid you know, for this effort they are putting into. So it has been a great effort and support for the government from helping people. So our government, they are trying to save both federal or states. May God more powerful and the blessing. You know, say this road, no small money they spend on this road. Though. If I can say trillion of, of, of naira, they are okay. They are trying. God will help them. Well, I really appreciate CCCC for President Buari giving CCC these contracts and Governor Saoli and ex Governor Fashola for giving CCC this work. For CCC to give me this job, I really appreciate. I think we need to appreciate the government whenever they are doing something that is good. Because, uh, as we all know, there is a lot of unemployment everywhere. And we have a lot of uh, uh, infrastructure decay. These projects, uh, number one, apart from the, the common face leave that is given to this place, because after the completion, you discover that it's going to give this uh, particular environment a, a, a new face leave. As, as you can see, there's a new, a, a, the, the, this place already face lifted. So by the time you, you also discover that, because of this project, you can't do what you are doing construction of, 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 of this magnitude. You need to employ people. Many people that ordinarily would not have got anything to do. Then you employ them, they, when you employ them, so one way or the other, they are able also to give something back to their family. And I think we, want to, we need to also commend the Minister of uh, uh, Works, uh, 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 in person of uh, our the Excellency, the former, with the former Governor of Lagos, for the job, because not only in Lagos, all over Nigeria, we can see what he's doing. We can see what the Minister of Work is doing. So we really need to appreciate them, at least for this good uh, thing they are doing. So we really appreciate them. It has been a wonderful uh, experience working under this administration of President Buhari because he is ready to provide all that we need to do our work. And the minister is also passionate about getting things done. And uh, it has been a good uh, the compatibility and the, the two working together has really made this ministry 
or the federal government to achieve a lot in road infrastructure development. The kind of minister we have is a minister that keeps you on your toes. You get he gets regular updates on activities, especially on the roads. And uh, so you also have to prepare ahead of him. If you don't want to if you don't want to encounter any problem with it, you have to prepare ahead of him, otherwise it becomes an issue. So he keeps you on your toes. He has also people working for him. I think they, they update him and then things that uh, they keep reminding you. So you're always on your toes when you work with them and this is Mr. President himself. And uh, the minister, is, uh, he brought a lot of, a lot of uh, innovation into road funding. You know, it can be seen everywhere. And the, those things are yielding results. And uh, we are really grateful to him. In the places where we have built infrastructure, roads and bridges, the feedback we are getting, very positive feedback, is that the land values in all that area have gone up by 30 to 40 percent. So, people who are renting those lands, who own them, who are selling them, they're making more money than they would have. The president has reached them. This government has reached them. But there are state governments who have reached them. So that's how it will progress. And people must own up to what they get. Not to talk of the direct beneficiaries, the suppliers, and all of that. Without those bridges, there is no work. Or there is no work of that quantum. When, okay, Lagos Ibadan has been on now for how many years? Since we came 2016, we started Second Niger Bridge, Abuja Kanu daily. Some people get up in the morning and say we're going to work. Where is the work? It's that place. So that work didn't exist before we came. So these are the ways, and these are related to wealth creation and wealth, wealth distribution. Journey time, efficiency, business efficiency, and that's what that's what uh, that's one of the levers that the president is using to reduce the impact of poverty by creating efficiency, by creating work, by creating prosperity, and also by changing your experience on the road. Why should you sleep on a 200 kilometer road when it can be traveled in just two hours? President Muhammad Obuari has been legitimately distributing wealth through investment in road infrastructure and the 100 million Nigerians he would take out of poverty. The Federal Minister of Works and Housing, Rehabilitation and Building of Federal Roads and Bridges Nationwide has played an essential role in facilitating the smooth running of all the sectors of our economy. The development of Nigerian road infrastructure, job creation, impact on industrialization, national economic growth, and its positive economic empowerment by the President Mohamed Wari cannot be overemphasized. And the prosperity of our people is the reason Mr. President is pushing several infrastructural renewal projects carried out by CCECC Nigerian Limited. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>